Hey, what is up YouTube? And in today's jailbreak update, we have a ton of new information to cover. There have been some major news come to light within the jailbreaking community. And although there is a high chance that you rubbed your eyes when you saw the title, the info is true. Just one week after the launch of the iPhone 10, Apple's current flagship phone, and one day after the release of iOS 11.1.1, Apple's latest public iOS software, a jailbreak demo has been made on stage during the POC 2017 event hosted in South Korea. So those of you waiting in anticipation for a new jailbreak might not have to wait quite as long as we thought as a new jailbreak demo was performed recently. In today's jailbreak update video, I'm going to discuss that major event as well as iOS 11.2 developer beta 3 as that was just released on November 13th. So without further ado, let's jump straight into things. The jailbreak demo was performed by who else but Keen Security Lab of Tencent, or commonly referred to as Keen Lab. And not only was the jailbreak performed on Apple's latest flagship device, but on their latest publicly released firmware being iOS 11.1.1. The jailbreak was shown off at this year's Power of Community event, and Power of Community is essentially an international security and hacking conference located in South Korea. Anyway, shortly preceding this event, a video surfaced online demonstrating Keen Lab's awesome work. Now in the video, you can see that on stage we have Lang Chain, a security researcher and developer that is part of and representing Keen Lab for this demonstration. In the video, you can in fact see that he is using the latest iPhone 10, and as he goes into at the very beginning of the video, video, he has updated the phone to Apple's latest software being iOS 11.1.1. And unfortunately, the video isn't in very high quality, so it's a bit hard to make out at times, but you can get the gist. He starts out by going into the settings app and verifying that it is on Apple's latest public firmware. He then navigates to the Keen Lab utility, opens that, clicks jailbreak, and then once he exits out of the app at the very end, you can see that Cydia is now on the home screen. Now I'm impressed that a jailbreak for the iPhone 10 has been accomplished this soon, but I'm not surprised at the fact it was performed and created by Ling Chen of Keen Lab. This team was also responsible for the iOS 11 beta 2 and iOS 10.3.2 jailbreak demos. And even recently, the team has had some major success at this year's Pwn to Own contest, coming in first place for their hacks on the iPhone 7. They were able to breach Safari and most notably have an app automatically install and persist through a reboot simply by connecting to a Wi-Fi network. And this may be good news towards an untethered jailbreak, but for now the community doesn't know too much about the jailbreak that the team demoed aside from what can be seen in the video. From the video we can see that the utility very closely resembles the one which we first saw in their iOS 11 beta 2 jailbreak demos. Now it's unclear at the time if the same exploits for the previous demo were used in this jailbreak break or if those exploits were patched and new ones were added. Like I said, there weren't any details released along the lines of how this jailbreak works. Lang Chen hasn't put together any write-up on the situation and definitely hasn't publicly released any information about the exploits or vulnerabilities being used to create the jailbreak. But in the end, this confirms to the community that it is possible to jailbreak the iPhone X, as well as Apple's latest mobile operating system firmware. Secondly, Keen Lab has the necessary exploits and escalation privileges to produce said jailbreak and has publicly made everyone, including Apple, aware of their success. Now, here comes the big downside. The reality of the situation is that it remains very unlikely that this jailbreak will actually ever see the light of day in terms of it being released into public domain and being consumed by iDevice owners running iOS 11.1.1. Given the nature of the conference and the fact that the jailbreak is actually attributed to a well-known security company, Keen Lab, who has previously demoed jailbreaks for both iOS 11 and 10.3.2, it's much more likely that the exploits and vulnerabilities will be sold off to other companies or directly to Apple itself as part of the bug bounty program that the company runs or just to be kept for private research purposes. This was also reaffirmed by another Keen Lab member on Reddit in a comment on our jailbreak, where it is reiterated that this is a private jailbreak with no current or future plans to release it to the public. So while there is no set timeline of when a utility might be released to the public for iOS 11, it is at least reassuring and may spark a little bit of confidence into some developers that iOS 11.1.1 can be jailbroken, and furthermore it can be jailbroken on the iPhone 10. The fact that the iPhone 10 can be jailbroken means the new A11 Bionic chip does have vulnerabilities that can be exploited to offer users a jailbreak. 
and since the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 both have the same processor, it's looking like the iPhone 8 shouldn't be hard to jailbreak as well. Now, just to reiterate, there is no news that a jailbreak utility is being released anytime soon for 11.1.1, so do not update in anticipation of jailbreaking. If you really want to jailbreak, stay with the iOS version that you're currently on, or downgrade if possible to the lowest firmware still being signed for your device. The example being iPhone 6s users can still downgrade to iOS 10.3.3 if so desired. And once again, since there is no jailbreak being released publicly, do not go looking for a download link. There's already a ton of fake YouTube channels and websites mimicking Keen Labs logo and name in attempt to gain ad revenue or install malicious software onto your device. So be aware of what site you're on and only pay attention to sources that report on official jailbreak information. If you want to stay updated on Keen Lab related news more often, make sure to follow my social media accounts listed above. I will be issuing a jailbreak tutorial as soon as one is released guys so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Anyway, as far as jailbreaking goes, that is a quick update on the situation. As you can see, a jailbreak demo was performed by Keen Lab, and it's absolutely astonishing that an iPhone 10 jailbreak has been performed this early into its release. And it's amazing to see that the latest version of iOS 11 being 11.1.1 .1, can still be jailbroken. So that kind of confirms that jailbreaking is not quite dead and it's not quite over yet. And I'm really excited to see what new tweaks developers would bring to the iPhone 10 if you could jailbreak it. There's absolutely a slew of new hardware in the iPhone 10 that developers could take advantage of and I would love to see what could happen if a new jailbreak does come out for it. So anyway guys, like I said, stay tuned. I will be issuing a jailbreak tutorial the second one comes out and I'll keep doing weekly updates on what is happening within the jailbreaking community. Anyway, for the last part of this video, I just wanted to quickly cover and go over some of the news pertaining to iOS 11.2 Beta 3, which just came out on November 13th. Now, just to give a quick recap on some of the features of iOS 11.2, there have been some new wallpapers for the iPhone 10. Some of the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus wallpapers have been added to older devices. There's no messages in the cloud yet, but 11.2 does fix the slow calculator bug as well as tweak a few emojis on the emoji keyboard. Also, Apple Pay Cash is now in beta testing and can be tested out on beta 2 and 3 of iOS 11.2, but specific to beta 3, there are just a few changes and they're actually only found on the iPhone 10. Once you have installed this update and are back on the cover sheet, you will notice up in the top right corner there is now an indicator for the control center. It basically just notifies you that the control center is present and so you can pull it down to view it. Anyway, aside from that, if you go into the control center on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles, if you pull up that platter, now when you turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you will get this little dialog box explaining what you just did. So when you turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth from the control center, it just states that it will disconnect you from nearby Wi-Fi or Bluetooth networks until tomorrow. So this just explains this feature a little bit better in more depth, noting that it will not actually turn off the Wi-Fi service, it will just disconnect you from your network. The current Wi-Fi network and other nearby networks will be disconnected, and Wi-Fi will continue to be available for AirDrop, Personal Hotspot, and other location accuracy services. Same goes for Bluetooth. If you turn it off, it will disconnect you from all Bluetooth accessories until tomorrow. It does not actually turn Bluetooth off. Again, if you want to turn it off, you can still head to the Settings app and turn it off manually. You can notice that when you turn it off manually, there will be different icons present on the control center, notifying you that the service is completely turned off rather than just disconnected. Also, as some of you guys may already know, Apple released iOS 11.1.1 to all customers to fix the autocorrect issue that turned the lowercase i into a question mark. Now, beta 3 for 11.2 also incorporates that fix for 11.2 betas. Now, if you're coming from beta 2 to beta 3 on iPhone 10, there's approximately a 173.1 MB update. Anyway, guys, that is just a quick look at some of the changes in iOS 11.2. 2 beta 3 stay tuned for more jailbreak update news to come shortly guys i'm hoping that a new jailbreak will be coming out shortly for ios 11 i'm absolutely excited to see what a jailbreak would look like on the iphone 10 and what developers would do with that anyway like i said previously in this video if you want to be updated more often don't forget to follow me on my social media pages and again don't forget to subscribe before you head out so you don't miss out on new videos just like this one 
Anyway guys, thank you so much for the support. This channel would not be possible without the help and support of you all. Anyway, let me know down in the comment section what you guys are most excited about and what tweaks you think would be awesome for the iPhone 10. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching again and until next time, this is Tony signing out.